All right, I just wanted to do a video showing how Calvinists rip out of context John chapter 6, verse 44 to prove their Calvinistic false doctrine that God predestines those for salvation and just basically chooses who goes to hell and who, who doesn't. It's a false doctrine, and Calvinism is based on ripping scriptures out of context to try to deny the biblical doctrine of free will and the basic fact of free will. Because why? Calvinism is just the devil's system to try to counteract the spreading of the gospel. That simple. So anyway, let's get into the scriptures. So John chapter 6, verse 44, down to verse 45. There's a reason why I'm reading verse 45. No man can come to me except the Father which hath sent me, draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. It is written in the prophets, and they shall, be t they shall all be taught of God. Every man, therefore, that hath heard and hath learned of the Father cometh unto me. Now there's a reason why I read verse 45 there. Okay, verse 44 is often quoted by the Calvinists to try and disprove free will in the context of man's salvation. Calvinists ignore context and forget to read verse 45, which explains that men are drawn to the Father by believing what is taught of the Father. Okay, what's taught of the Father? We'll compare this with John chapter 5, verse 38 to 40. Do a bit of scripture comparison. And ye have not his word abiding in you, for whom he has sent, him ye believe not. Search the scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. And ye will not come to me, that ye might have life. He's rebuking them for what? Not believing on him, not searching the scriptures and searching the scriptures and believing on him. Uh, and the teaching of the Father, like I said, the teaching of the Father is Jesus Christ. Matthew chapter 11, verse 27. See, this is what Calvinists don't do. They don't they don't compare scripture with scripture. They don't, you know, look at the scriptures and in context as well. Matthew chapter eleven verse twenty seven, all things are delivered unto me of my Father, and no man knoweth the Son but the Father. Neither knoweth any man the Father save the Son, and he who sorry and he to whom whomsoever the Son will reveal him. Not good at reading on a computer. Matthew chapter seventeen verse five. Matthew chapter seventeen verse five. While he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and behold, a voice out of the cloud which said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. In John chapter 16, verse 14 to 15. John chapter 16, verse 14 to 15. He shall glorify me, for he shall receive of mine, and shall show it unto you. All things that the Father hath are mine, therefore said I, that he shall take of mine, and show it unto Unto you, and shall show it unto you. So, when reading verse 44 in context, no man can come to me to the Father which draw him to me, paraphrasing of course, uh, what's it talking about? Well, Jesus goes on to explain in verse 45, for in the prophets, every man is taught of God. What's being taught of God? Jesus Christ. How do you how do you get drawn to the Father? Believing on Jesus Christ. Okay, it's not talking about God predestining you against your free will. It, it not, it's not denying free will, basically. It's not talking about God predestining you for salvation and others for damnation. That's totally twisting what the text is saying. But that's what Calvinism relies on. So don't be deceived by Calvinism. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.